Maternal neonatal tetanus steals the lives of 60,000 babies and women each year in third world countries. And in the next five minutes alone, another baby will have lost their life to MNT. So what can we do to help? Well, charity organisation Kiwanis International has joined forces with UNICEF to try and eliminate MNT worldwide. To tell us more, please welcome the newly appointed UNICEF ambassador, the gorgeous Carrie Bickmore. Yeah. Because UNICEF approached you to do this role, and I think that's a reflection of the wonderful mother that you are, the work oh, you've done on the project, because you're really you're really passionate about compassionate stories. Let's first of all talk about maternal neonatal tetanus. Mm. What is it? Well, it's not something we know much about here in Australia because we have great vaccines, and all of us have been vaccinated, and you know our children get vaccinated, mm. so it's not something we talk about often. But around the world, it is a disease. It's a horrible disease that affects you know the poorest of the poor. Every nine minutes, a baby will die from from neonatal tetanus it affects the mothers as well it's the sort of disease that spreads very quickly it's found in the dirt and in dust yeah. so these mothers that are birthing you know in in very bad areas that aren't very sterile unhygienic you know conditions. unhygienic conditions they're you know birthing in fields and in the, in the dirt um, you know, when the, when the umbilical cord's cut and it's, you know, used with a, a knife or a, cut with a knife or a pair of scissors that isn't very sterile, the disease can, you know, pop so in that's there. Where it's, it's, that's where it's handed over from mothers? Many to... different areas, but for the mothers and their new babies, that's one of the areas. And that's yeah. what UNICEF and, and Kiwanis is working on, trying to get, you know, safe birthing practices happening uh, for, for mums around the world. Yep. Uh, but one of the big things, I think, for me, is that when I gave birth to my little boy, I uh, had uh, got a, an infection and I almost died and I needed blood transfusions and a lot of things like that. For these mothers that give birth to these babies and then the babies get the tetanus, they don't have access to health services. They can't, mm. like me, rush to a hospital and be treated within minutes. They, there's kilometres they need to walk to even possibly maybe reach And highly likely service. that they will unfortunately die. And when they get there, you know, they're dying. They're, yeah. you know, and, and this is the thing from something that is that is highly preventable and something we can do to prevent it. So talk about the prevention, what can we do? So the Eliminate Project is about trying to reach 100 million women around the world in these countries where they haven't been able to eliminate tetanus so far. They did a similar campaign in 99 and they, they did vaccinate uh, 100 million women. There's mm -hmm. 35 countries that, that still have tetanus, uh, tetanus in it. But, in, you know, in some of the... the um, great places like Turkey and Egypt and and the Dem Democratic Republic of Congo they've now been able to eliminate it and with this with this campaign if we can raise 110 million dollars we can then reach another 100 million women wow. and and eliminate the tetanus it requires three vac three uh, vaccinations 60 Grown. cents per vaccination that all so this is achievable this so is this something is what we're we can looking do. at here we're looking at vision of the, the lovely the ladies there being, being vaccinated so yeah. as simple as that it's funding the money yeah. for these vaccines absolutely and you know for us it's if we donate $20, that can vaccinate 10 women. $50 can vaccinate 24 women. $100, if, if we can, can vaccinate 50 women. So, yep. you know, for us sitting at home and, you know, approaching Mother's Day, if you're thinking of something to give your mum, it's a, it's a great gift and a great it, way to save, you know, mums and their yeah. babies. My brother and his girlfriend for Christmas bought me a vaccination immunisation package yeah. for Africa yeah. and he just said it was beautiful I didn't get anything physically but what I got out of it was that he said um, George you and Molly Rose had the benefit of immunisation and health in this country and that's what all these mothers will get I think it was $30 or something Absolutely. and that's the, the thing I think about my son Ollie you know as you know giving birth to a baby is you know one of the most precious moments ever giving birth multiple times for you <laughs> is the most precious <laughs> moment ever but you know to think within a month of, of looking after that baby you then lose them and that's what's happening for my mums all over the world mm. and that's for me why it gets me quite emotional and why mm. I want to do something about it because I yeah. just think it must be such a horrific thing to have to go through and the, you know the babies the way they die it's, it's horrible there's convulsions and seizures and you know they, they stop feeding and you know if you look look into it and I won't share any more details because it is quite horrific it's a horrible way for, for a newborn baby mm. to die. So. so how can our viewers darling get on board do we go to UNICEF's website you can what go do we to do? UNICEF's website I know on the Circle website they've put all the details there so that might be the easiest way to go but the mother Mother's Day Project uh, is also the mothersdayproject.com.au is Kuwana's website and you can go there and find out how much you can donate and how many you know mothers you can help and how many mothers you can vaccinate. So thanks so much, Carrie. Would you please thank Carrie Bickmore, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Sixty cents. It's it's not much at all. No. Sixty cents. You'll find out more details on the Circle website. And of course, Carrie will be back on the project tonight at 6 p.m. here on 10. You're watching the Circle. We'll be back after this.